it yourself. Uh, let's go into right now why I decided to call it the Hair Conspiracy. I'm going to actually read a small chapter in my book called The Hair Conspiracy. Okay. Contrary to what we may believe, there is a hair conspiracy, and most of us have fallen victim to it. The color of your hair has been subjected to discrimination and misinformation just as much as your skin or your gender. If your hair is the color black, it's considered to be a low social ranking than if it was blonde or red. But science actually says that black hair color is more valuable than any other hair color based on its universal law for energy. This is due to the melanin the pigment in the hair that makes it appear black or brown, being light sensitive and able to be used as a conductor. What do I mean by your hair can be used as a conductor? What I'm telling you is your hair is a living entity and it has energy in it. And this energy that it carries in the hair is the things that helps for, in science and in physics, Okay, mechanic physics tells you that every single thing on this universe is made up of molecules. Molecules are atoms. That is nothing but energy. Everything. Either you can see it or you can't see it. If the energy moves extremely fast, it moves so fast that you cannot see it. You cannot see it with your naked eye. That means it moves extremely fast. If it doesn't, then you are able to see certain things like a book or you see, um, you know, objects, chair, pillow. So what, you're un what you have to understand is that everything on this planet is nothing but energy. And with that, have you ever thought about, okay, let's, I'm going to give you a really simple example. When you go to turn on your television, you take the plug and you plug it into the socket, you plug it into the wall. When you plug it into the wall, you're using it, the energy, the current to come out so that it could travel through the cord to your television and turn your television on, right? Well, in order to do that, you have to have a conductor. That conductor actually helps to stabilize the energy so that if you just naturally put your hand into the socket you can let you put yourself so what you're getting is your hair becomes a conductor for your body and the energy that you are moving through this universe with in my book I want to talk to you about not only how to take care of this energy your hair but this wonderful power that you have that you're not aware of and how to now take that and use it and understand how science has been using it already to determine things about your health. Now how you can learn about your own health, how you can tell one is science, how you can tell what needs to be done and also how to harness that power just like you use your television and your cord and you could turn it on like a remote control, you could switch channels, right? You're switching frequencies. That's what you're really doing. You're just switching gears. I wanna show you how to take your hair, your conductor, and use that to switch through life to start getting the things that you want, the experiences you want, having a little bit more control over your happiness, your health, and your wealth.